Welcome neighbors. Today we're going to have a video to cover how to make basic hamburgers. So what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and we'll get started with just plain ground beef. Uh, this is going to be a straightforward recipe. Any of you can do it. We'll start with an 80% uh, ground beef, 80-20, 80% lean and 20% fat. That makes the best ground beef uh, for hamburgers. If you want to use ground turkey, you can. It's a little bit uh, uh, more sticky, a little harder to uh, form patties and, and cook, but it'll work too. So we're going to go ahead and create a good fist full of uh, ground beef. Um, you saw me pressing it down there in the middle. That's to stop it from ballooning up in the middle and kind of making a, a football shape. This will keep it flatter. And we'll go ahead and we'll take this, uh, that was that there, probably about three pounds or three and a half pounds of ground beef. And then we'll go ahead and make them into patties, which we're going to cook. You notice I'm not adding any seasoning at this point. Um, that's a, You can certainly do those kinds of things, uh, put chopped onions and, and things like that inside your ground beef. But we're just doing a basic get uh, beginner um, burger. Okay, so... I've got the grill going. Um, I'll link up in the corner uh, a video on, you know, the basics of a grill, the basic tools you need and how to get it lit. You'll see that this grill is set up for indirect heating. In other words, the coals are spread on only one half of the grill. They're at the back there. Uh, they're only like one layer deep, but that gives a, a place at the front that's a, a safe zone or a cooking zone. And in the back, we have a searing zone where we put the uh, burgers on to sear. So I go ahead and I shake on some onion powder. Um, you could put in some garlic powder if you wanted as well. Put it on pretty liberally. I'm putting on salt. Um, I wouldn't use kosher salt or, or large rock salt at this point because it would make the exterior too salty. Just ordinary table salt, salt is fine. Uh, since I had the pepper right there, I decided to throw in some ground pepper as well. So go ahead and you, you put that on. Uh, you'll put it on both sides. Uh, when you flip the burger, you put it on the other side as well. So we go ahead and we'll cook it, uh, searing it on the uh, uh, hot part of the grill for about two minutes, two, three minutes. You want it to kind of start searing up, kind of forming. Uh, these may have been able to go a little bit longer. Um, this one here, you'll see it, it kind of crumbles up a bit on me um, just because it's has no binders in it or anything. And it's just straight ground beef. So uh, they have a tendency to want to do that. So you have to be a little careful. But we'll go ahead and we'll cover this up and, and cook it for on this side for another uh, two, three minutes or so. Basically, what we're trying to do is, is firm up the hamburgers on the hot part of the grill. Okay, a couple of minutes have gone by. Let's pull this off. Those are starting to look a little better. They formed an outer caramelized layer. I use a little trick here quite often when I'm cooking on an indirect heat where um, I'm going to spin the grill and move the burgers onto the uh, um, cooler side of the, the grill. Uh, you could, of course, move them manually. Um, and if you are getting flare-ups, feel free to go ahead and move them manually over off the gr hot grills onto the cooler side of the grill. So our burgers have magically grown from three burgers up to ten. Um, but basically what you want to do here is uh, we start monitoring for temperature because these are, are cooking. You want to get, you, you want to cook your hamburgers uh, well done at 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, medium well is okay, uh, but you know, ground beef should be cooked through and certainly if you're cooking for guests and stuff, make sure your burgers are cooked well done so that there's no, no problems. You notice the vent is on the cooler side of the grill over top of the meat. That allows for a convective heat. It pulls the heat from the hot side of the grill over the burgers and up and out through the top of the grill. So that's a practice you always want to do. This, this method of heating your burgers is the same you use for cooking most things on a, a charcoal grill. You have the hot side and then the more manageable cool side where you do most of your actual cooking. The hot side is more for searing. Now you notice I took the temperatures on the burgers. Um, uh, of course, some burgers are closer to the heat than others. Some burgers are farther away. So they're not going to be cooking at an even temperature. So all I'm doing here is shuffling all these burgers around, moving the ones that were closer to the hot coals farther away, the ones that were farther away, we're gonna move them up over towards the hot coals to try to get these burgers to all cook at about the same time, get them all ready close to the same point in time. So we'll just move them around. 
Um, don't worry about uh, how many times you flip a burger. Uh, feel free. You can, you can go ahead. You can flip more than once. The cardinal rule of only flipping your hamburgers once, uh, that's... Don't worry about that. Um, if you flip them over top of the hot grill uh, coals, you may find that you get flare-ups more. Uh, but once again, you're really cooking them on the cooler side of the grill. So what I've done here is I've put in a, uh, a rack at the back uh, and let's get ready to toast some buns on uh, to have with these burgers. So you want to use a, a good hearty bun, uh, not a little wimpy little hamburger bun. You want to use a good sandwich roll or a nice, uh, you know, larger, larger hamburger bun. If you, you know, you, of course you could serve them without the buns. If you have people that uh, prefer to uh, avoid the carbs, that's fine. Um, but for those that are going to have a regular hamburger, let's go ahead and toast these up. So you want to coat them with, uh, you can use butter or margarine. Uh, you can melt the, the butter or margarine like this, or use a ghee or an olive oil or some other uh, similar kind of oil. Uh, you, you coat the bottoms or, or the interiors of, of your buns. And let's go ahead and put them on the grill to toast them. So by using this rack, it's going to help uh, uh, control you know, the, the speed at which these things are going to toast. You can put them down directly if you don't have one of these kind of racks or something. You can put them directly on the grill. But you've got to keep an eye on them because they will burn fast. And you just want to toast them. You don't want to burn them. So just keep an eye on them. Don't forget them. Once again, we're just uh, doing a check here for the doneness of these burgers to make sure that we're uh, getting them cooked through. And you may find that you have to take some off earlier than others. Some some might be done. You don't you don't want a burger that's overdone. They'll get dry on you, and, and they're not uh, so good that way. Um, so feel free to pull them off. You can pull them off a few degrees before they're. Uh, going to re reach their temperatures because they will continue to cook after they're on the grill. If you've got a lot of number of guests or, or you're, you're kind of cooking a bunch of burgers, you can take these off the grill, put them into an aluminum pan, cover them with tin foil to keep them warm. Um, you know, just maintaining good, safe health uh, uh, practices to make sure that you're not leaving uh, meat outside for too long and letting it to get into a danger zone. But in essence here, um, these burgers are done. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull most of them off. And what we'll do is we'll plate up two of these burgers um, as cheeseburgers and we'll uh, you know, put them on the buns that I've got toasting there. And these other ones here I'll pull off and set them off to the side. Those are sure starting to look good. I wish I could smell those just watching this. A video doing this voice narration is uh, <laughs> making me want to get out there and cook some more burgers. Those look really good. Okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, check these buns. Um, yeah, see, now that's that's just about right. They're starting to toast. Uh, that one there, not so much. That one needs some more work, but the that's that's done. We'll pull those off, <clears throat> move these over a little bit more over the heat, keeping an eye on them. Like I said, you wouldn't if they were right down on that grill, you wouldn't leave them there that long. They'd be burnt by now. So go ahead and melt some cheese onto your, if you're gonna make cheeseburgers. Um, I'm just using American or processed cheese slices, uh, no big deal. But feel free to use your favorite cheese. You can use provolone, cheddar, blue cheese, uh, any number of different kinds of cheeses you could put on there to, to make a delicious cheeseburger. You let that melt in um, and they're good to go. So um, let, let's pull them off the, the grill and start assembling our hamburgers. So of course you can use whatever condiments you want on your burgers. Um, you know, I'll just make up here a, a basic, uh, uh, I don't know, like a, what do they call them? A California cheeseburger kind of thing. Basically just some uh, uh, lettuce and some tomatoes. Um, but of course you could use whatever topping suits your fancy, whatever your family likes. And once again, if you're serving guests, put the, put the hamburgers out into uh, an aluminum foil tray and, and, and your condiments out uh, on, on plates, you know, covered in plastics to keep the bugs off of them and stuff. You know, let them make their own. 
Um, it went, and another note, if I was making these for guests, I had guests around and stuff. I mean, my hands are clean and they've been washed just before I do this. But I would uh, do the courtesy of wearing some nitrile gloves uh, when I'm directly handling their food. Um, these are for my wife and I, so it's, it's, it's okay. But um, they'd probably appreciate that little extra um, show of courtesy to, to wear some clean gloves when you're handling the food directly if you're assembling the burgers. But I'll tell you, those certainly look good. Uh, hey, you know, you can do this too. Um, you saw that. It was just straight ground beef. Throw some seasoning on it, cook them, watch them for temperature. All right. So um, that's a, a, another video. Oh, I would not recommend pulling off hot things off of a grill with your fingers like that. Um, but I just wanted to thank you for watching the video. Um, if you like it, please uh, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification button so when you can see the new videos come out. You're, uh, we're a very small channel trying to grow and every single one of our likes and, and sub subscriptions are uh, definitely appreciated and go a long way. So like I always say, uh, make sure you get out there and uh, grill, have fun, make mistakes, but enjoy yourself and uh, have a good day. Thank you for watching.